Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Naya True. Um, today we have another story time. Um, it's a little aggressive, but hey, <laughs> we be I. All right, so today's story time is actually gonna be, it's not my first fight, probably my second fight, but I'm gonna put my first fight in the, to in the title because like, more views, <laughs> duh. Because it doesn't make sense to put my second fight, like, my first fight wasn't that interesting, plus I already talked about it like in an old, old, old video. So if you want to watch that, I might link that shit, but I probably won't. Alright, so this was back in... Uh, oh, it was back in middle school. So my friend, we're going to change her name to Chantel, even though that's too close to her middle name. Oh, well, we're going to call her Chantel. So me and Chantel and this other girl, we were like three amigos, like we were three musketeers, like we were three everything, like we walked around together, we always sat together, we was our own little clique, every class we, together, um, yeah, so. One day I was just fed up with her bullshit, I'm tired of like walking around with you, like, I, I'm the type of person to... I don't like to be like subjected to just one click. Like I hop around and just not a homie hop. No. <laughs> I just like hop around and I'm like cool with everybody. Like I don't want to just be a part of one click and like for you to try to control me saying that I can't talk to her because I'm already friends with you, like nah. <laughs> That's dead. <laughs> I'd rather not be friends with you and be friends with the world. Next. So she got jealous of a lot of the people that I would like to hang out with and was like, oh no, if you're going to be my friend, you have to be my friend only, like childish ass middle school shit. <laughs> so, and then she was also hoeing around too. In middle school, really bitch, you supposed to be worried about playing Barbie dolls and running track. Next. After I was like, I don't want to be your friend anymore, I didn't like straight up say I didn't want to be your friend. I was just like, yeah. This is dead. I'm just gonna go sit with um, those girls over there today and um, yeah. <laughs> so later on, I guess she like felt me being distanced because I was like, you know, you feel me? I like my friends. <laughs> anyway, so the next day it was time to go to lunch and like she was expecting me to sit with her. But I was like, mm, I'm gonna sit with these girls over here. Okay, boo boo. Okay. So I sat with those girls and like it was time for us to walk back to class and she, <laughs> let me tell you what this bitch did. Okay, so she walked up to my desk and she knocked off my pencil pouch off the desk. So you want to know what the fuck I did because I was fed up, fed up. Actually, no, no, I'm getting all of ahead of myself, bro. I'm getting ahead of myself. So a class before we even went to lunch. We were talking about Harriet Tubman and we were talking about like slaves and all this other shit and not shit, but all this other stuff. And we were talking about the Harlem Renaissance and that jazz player with the um, bulging eyes. Yeah, we were talking about him and other stuff. And so this girl was like, oh yeah, Shania looks like him. All right, bet. So she kept talking shit throughout the whole entire class. So that's when I became fed up. It was time for you to get your ass beat, okay? Alrighty. <clears throat> so then, we went to lunch. She expected me to sit with her. I was like, fuck no, bitch. After you just did that shit, fuck no. Um, we came back from lunch. She knocked over my pencil pouch. I got up and I knocked over all her shit on the desk. I knocked over her books, her pencil pouch, her textbook, her papers, and all that shit was on the fucking floor. Then, the bitch had the nerve to grab my shirt. Like, shh. I was like, Shh, grab her fucking wee ponytail and started banging her in her head. Don't start drama and don't start trouble if you can't catch. No, don't start the fire if you can't catch the flame, bitch. <laughs> oh, gosh. We were like going, 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 slapping, punching, scratching, whatever you want to call it. Um, this bitch had the nerve to take my shirt and like lift it up all the way in the back, like exposing my little, my little chee like. 
Really, bitch? Luckily, nobody had phones back then, though. <laughs> you not about to expose me, ho. Once I, like, felt the breeze on my back, I was like, oh, no, bitch, and I swung her ass, and we ran into the Prometheum board, because, like, she tried to sweep back, but I had her by her hair still, and I was like, boom, and we both went into the Prometheum board, and then I flipped that bitch over a desk. <laughs> yeah, she was a big bitch, so I was surprised I was able to do that, but, yeah. After that, I don't know why it took so long for security to be called, but um, after that we both went to ISS, but we were split up into two different times. Then we had the right incident report and all this other shit, parent phone calls and da 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 da. Uh, I can't remember if I got in trouble. I don't think I did <laughs> because like the bitch was bullying me basically, but it was it wasn't technically bullying because I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Uh, that's why, like, whenever someone's like, have you ever been bullied? I'd be like, no. Because I ain't give a fuck, because she got her ass beat. <laughs> she was just jealous of other people, which is weird. Like, are you that type of <laughs> weirdo? Anyway, so if you ever been in a fight, let me know down below. I want to hear your stories. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and let's get it poppin'. All right, night who? Night true, night who? Night true, let's get it. Bye.